Good morning, everyone. It is day four of Tokyo Adventures. Kelvin and I, we're currently at the station. We're excited because Emily and Jeff get back tonight so we can finally hang out with them again and go drinking with them. Last night was wild, so that was really fun. If you didn't see that vlog, definitely check it out. And now we're heading to Akihabara for one of the best ramen places in Tokyo, as well as lots of shopping. So let's go. Alright, so we found it, and of course there's a really, really long line. So here's the restaurant. It's full inside, so we gotta stand in this very, very long line. We're still waiting. And the line has gotten double as long as when we got here, so we're, we picked a good spot. Hopefully it's good. And we also figured out that it's seafood ramen, and it's not... Um, so here you can see here, they have their seafood display, so they have like razor clams, clams, oysters, regular manila clams, scallops, things like that. Um, but it's a seafood broth ramen, which I've never had before. I've only had pork based, so this is super interesting to have a seafood based one. Oh, here's the menu. So I'm really excited! Alright, so we're finally inside, and uh, yeah, it's a really small restaurant. You can see everything you prepared in front of you, which is awesome. Super, super small. But it smells, I, mean, I wish there was smell of vision because it smells amazing. There's such a strong, rich seafood scent. You can smell like the noodles and just the broth smells like heavenly. Super sweet, savory, seafood. Really stoked. Ooh, there's the loin. I got some pork loin. And Tom got the pork belly. Alright, so here's the miso ramen. So there's seasoned egg, different seasonal vegetables, oyster. Oh, and we do have some, I have some pork belly in there, but I also have some pork loin on the side. All right, here's Kelvin's, which is the salt-based ramen, which you can see there's a scallop, egg, seasoned vegetables again. That also looks bomb. Our broths are so different. All right, what a whirlwind experience. I think that, uh, Kelvin and I were just talking about it, but yeah, that ramen was so unique. Seafood broth, you had cured pork, instead of like your regular tashu pork, like everything about it was so unique. And it was done really, really well. I genuinely think they were both done really, really well. They're very different. It's surprising that they're both, their two top sellers are so different. The one I had, the miso one, was almost like a curry. You saw it was super thick. Had thick noodles. Yeah, it had like onions. Yeah, like juice. Yeah, really heavy, dark flavors. Oh, and Kelvin got the salt ramen. It was super light. It was like, yeah, the closest thing I could describe it to is wonton soup. Like super light, refreshing, but savory. Yeah, but like way better. better. So I think this place was really, really unique. I've never had seafood based ramen. We're both really full now. I'm about to sit down in this little park because we're here in Akihabara. Tissue marketing! What a great thing. Love it. Okay, so we're inside Don Quixote and there's so much stuff. So this is the equivalent of like Walmart. So it's literally just a treasure hunt to find stuff. This is baby formula. We're in the baby side. I see the makeup section over there. These are drugs over here, like medicine. All right, let's start this way with the makeup. All right, so I'm picking up one of these. This is a face whip, so it basically comes out like a rose. I'm really, really excited. It's a face mask, a Pokemon face mask. I wonder if... Oh my, yeah, you actually look like a Pokemon. Wait, I kind of want one now. This is a Bulbasaur mask. I need a squirrel. And a squirrel looks kind of mean. A yeah, squirrel looks kind of mean. And one Char Charmander also kind of looks kind of mean, huh? Who Charmander looks happy? But Pikachu's the happiest. All right, I gotta go with Pikachu. All right. Big bucks. Big bucks. All right. I love how it goes from like makeup to food instantly. All right. Let's start. I'll weave it in the food. So the women's eye. 
We found chips and look, Doritos are only 60 cents per bag. It's pretty good. Cheaper in Amer cheaper here than in America. All right, coming to Japan, must buy. This is the Kit Kat wall of special exclusive flavors. So you have the special matcha, the Uji matcha. So this is supposed to be a very, very strong matcha flavor. This one is, is this wine and cheese flavored? It's wine and cheese flavor, I think. There's a sake flavor. This is a, whoa, ch strawberry cheesecake. Oh, I'm gonna get a ton of those. Um, wasabi flavored, oh my gosh. Um, purple sweet potato. This is like peanut butter and jelly. Oh, babe, red bean. Red bean sandwich flavor. This is you. All right, yeah, I want one. Yeah, all right, you can get um, mangju flavor. I don't know what that is. They're out of whatever this was. And then this is regular Yokohama strawberry cheesecake flavor. And this oh is my gosh. normal strawberry cheesecake? Yeah. All right, we gotta try so many of these. Oh my gosh. All right, so here is one of the biggest electronic stores. It's legitimately a stadium. It's so big. All right, now it's time to try the famous Pablo. So it's the biggest known chain in Japan for its uh, um, cheesecakes. So they have all the ones. So they have the nude, that's the regular one. Let's have this premium one. So it's like a creme brulee top. A rich texture, that's the number one. That's double the price of the nude. Hmm. This all looks pretty bomb. Yeah, this reminds me of Porto's in LA. All right, so we're eating it. And it's super light, fluffy, airy. Cheesy, but not sweet. I feel like after eating Japanese food, we realize that American food is so freaking sweet. Because <laughs> everything else here just isn't as sweet. It's like... You almost can't tell what's in your mouth. Yeah, it's really light. Airy. It's sardines. It's literally sardines. Yeah, but we can go out here. We can go out here. Remember, we're at the end. We're at the very end. <laughs> we're literally like sardines. <laughs>